Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. To delete a LUN, you can do it from the storage pool option here. Okay. You can go ahead and select a LUN and delete it, and that will delete that LUN from your storage pool itself. You can also go into the storage tab. So let's just go back into storage here, into LUNs and create it and select the line. So let's just go, we're gonna delete VM primary six, which is 100 gig SPA, okay? That is assigned to pool zero, all right? And we just select delete. It's gonna give you a warning. Do you want to delete it? Now, obviously, be, be very careful when you're deleting LUNs because the LUNs could contain data. So only delete them if you really know that they're not being used. Uh, what we are gonna look at um, later or in another video is um, if, your, if your LUNs are assigned to a storage group, then you won't be able to delete them. So a storage group will be, let's say I've gone and created a storage group that contains all of my um, ESXi hosts, all of my VMware ESXi hosts, and I've got a LUN assigned to a storage group, you can't actually go and delete the LUN from here. You have to remove it from the storage group first in order to be able to delete it. Um, otherwise, it's not gonna let you, okay? There's also an option when you're deleting here to force deletion of any snapshots, if there are any. So we're gonna say yes to that. We don't want any snapshots to hang around and delete LUN, okay? So that will now go and delete, gives you a warning, uh, not a warning, just a message saying success. And LUN six will now be gone, okay? So you can again go back into storage storage configuration and your storage pools. Select on your pool zero, and you'll see that your LUN six is now missing. Okay, so that is how you delete a LUN. So let's try to delete number two. Delete, delete. See that is now thrown an error. It's thrown an error because it is part of a storage group. So again, this is a safety mechanism where you can't accidentally delete a LUN that is currently presented to a storage storage group and in turn could be presented to a host. So in this exercise, majority of SANS will have this already configured. You'll have a, bun a bunch of storage groups with your LUNs assigned. So what you'll wanna do is you wanna go into the host tab, go into storage groups, select your storage group, go to your LUNs, all right? You'll see that LUN two and four are connected. We go into the properties, we go into LUNs, and we wanna select LUN two, remove it, okay? So that is now removing that LUN from being presented to a storage group, and in turn, obviously, your host somewhere, all right? Your VMware, your Citrix, whatever. We then can go back into storage, into LUNs, and select two, delete. Are you sure? Yep, we wanna delete any snapshots and delete. And that has now removed that LUN from the storage group and also from the storage pool as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.